Welcome back to my channel, y'all. Uh, today I got something a little different. I'm here at GL Robotics, your gateway to new technology. It's down South Park, south of Dothan. There's the phone number. Give them a call. All right, we'll fix to go in and uh, talk with Mr. Greg. Okay, here we go. There's hey, Mr. Greg. Welcome to GL Robotics. Thank you, sir. Doing all right today? I'm doing my best. We're doing glad, my best. Glad to have you and your audience here. Yes, sir. GL Robotics. We are a full line 3D printer seller as well as manufacturer of filament as well as a wide range of robotic lawn mowers. Mm -hmm. You believe these actually will cut your lawn for you so you can spend more time riding. Yes. Does that sound pretty good? <laughs> yes. <laughs> so we have a wide variety of filament in a lot of different colors. You can see all of the colors that we have here that are available. Uh, we have over 60 colors and that's very important to our customers. Yes. That gives them selections as they're making different prototypes or crafts or gifts or whatever they may, mm. may be 3D printing, then they can choose the color that best suits them. Yes. And so we keep all these stock right here in Dothan, Alabama, as well as a full line of 3D printers. We carry any cubic and Mingda printers. Um, these are what are called FDM printers. And basically they take that filament that I just showed you and they'll melt it. And with a computer program, they'll actually make uh, a part that you've designed or downloaded off the internet or whatever mm -hmm. for you. And it, it makes all kinds of neat parts for you. And um, uh, really the sky's the limit on what you can 3D print, whether cool. that's to fix things around your house or to, like I say, make gifts for someone else. It's really a neat thing. And the printers come in different sizes depending on what kind of build you need. And so that's why you see the variance in the different types of printers here. And then they come in different styles too. This is actually a resin printer. You would actually use a resin that looks like this and you pour it in there and it uses UV light to uh, actually make a part, something similar to this. And so wow. you can get a a nice smooth part using a resin printer um, with a lot more detail so we have customers that want us to make little figurines and dungeons and dragon pieces mm -hmm. and all of that um, and so we'll use this to uh, actually make them for them and some we have some original designs and so and so these are the resin printers here and we have a whole a lot more to offer there just go on our website glroboticsusa.com and you can see our full line of printers that we stock. This is a Delta printer. So what uh, makes this unique is that it'll use the, the X, Y, and Z axis in this manner. So it's actually a lot quicker printer and some, manu some people that are doing manufacturing, they speed is important to them. Uh, also, you can see that this will print a lot higher. Um, than some of the others that we offer. So again, it's just uh, uh, based on the need. So when s someone comes in and says they want a 3D printer, I uh, ask them a few questions about what they're gonna use it for, and um, then I can make a recommendation yes. on what they should go with at, at, after I talk to them a little bit. Because um, I wanna give them the right printer, you know? Yes. Um, so they'll be happy with it. And so the, we have Delta printers here. Um, and then we actually have enclosed printers. <clears throat> this is more for uh, prototyping and um, small batch manufacturing. You can see we've got some parts here that we've that we've made yes. for a customer. That he's going to come by and pick that up sometime today. And um, the reason why you want an enclosure is that we're using a higher temperature type filament and. Um, we want to make sure we keep the heat in inside of here and uh, also it helps with the integrity of the part and so that's the reason why you might would go with an enclosure again um, the recommendation i make on a 3d printer depends on what you're going to do with it mm, okay so, that's... you know the, the getting started with 3d printing you can you'll pay a little less than 300 dollars for a printer and you'll get a lot of uh utility out of that Yes. And a lot of people are surprised that they're that inexpensive now, but they are. 
and then a roll of filament it costs you about $25 and they last they last for a long time and we have different materials um, the three main types of filament are PLA which is a polylactic acid which is actually a plant-based plastic mm -hmm. um, and then we have pet G pet G is um, uh, like what your milk cartons and water bottles and all that are made out of PET-G. Oh, okay. Uh, so it holds up a little bit, holds up the water a little bit better, also the sunlight a little bit better. And then we have ABS. ABS is like um, like your Legos are made out of ABS. So oh, okay. You have to higher temperature to print it at, um, but it's a little bit stronger, tougher, can be tougher. If you've ever stepped on a Lego, you know how tough they are. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, so we can handle all of that. Um, and then there's some uh, other type materials that we offer to some of our customers that are usually in some sort of manufacturing. Mm -hmm. um, and so we have we carry those and stock those for them. And uh, then we also offer parts. We try to support everything that we do. So we have we. We stock Prusa parts, we stock any cubic parts, and uh, Mingda parts are uh, coming soon. And um, we also offer a wide variety of 3D pins. You can actually hold these in your hand and put filament in the top, and it'll, and you can actually uh, 3D print. Uh, yeah, that's something, that's that is something else right yeah, there. Yeah, a lot of our uh, artists like these because they can draw a nice picture and then they can give it texture and extra dimension by going over some parts and 3D printing. Um, you know, it could be anything. Leaves on the tree, for example, or yes. whatever it might be. Um, and so those are super neat. And we have two two different ones of those that we, that we stock. Mm -hmm. And then, like I said, we do have a uh, large range of uh, robotic mowers. So anywhere from, I don't know, a third, half, well, really lower than that, probably a, a quarter acre. Yeah. Or up to, you know, five acres. Hmm. Yeah, we can uh, provide the mower. This, this mower will do uh, a quarter acre of lawn. It's it. pretty cool. It uses radar uh, yes. to sense the grass. And so you don't have to put a perimeter wire down. Oh, okay. As um, long as you have some sort of obstacle for it to sense, it'll it'll go around and, and um, mow the lawn. It's pretty cool. Has a yeah. has a regular type rotating blade, all rubber wheels, it's heavy duty goes back programs it's all uh, driven by an app and uh, once you program it, it goes out every day mows and comes back in recharges itself goes back out the next day that's you, that's nice you uh, basically forget about having to mow your line because it does it for you okay it frees you up time right yeah and time's <laughs> plenty <important>. of time <laughs> wow all right you got any questions for us well everybody I want y'all to meet Sammy He's our, he's, is a little robot that cuts the grass and all. And he's pretty neat to look at. As you can see, he has been very, very busy. He's got grass all over him. <laughs> But yes, I just wanted y'all to meet Sammy. <laughs>